Last year, I asked you to send me your portfolios. You have sent me your portfolios and today we're going to be reviewing them. Let's go. Last year, I had a chance to actually go through the process of hiring a couple of architects, a couple of Revit users, and I feel like I have a new perspective on the whole hiring process and reviewing portfolios. So I thought that with this new perspective, it would make sense to perhaps review some of your portfolios and then give some tips from the perspective of an employer. What am I looking for if I was looking to hire you? So let's get started. And here we have the first portfolio that I've got. So let's go through it. Uh, now this is in Canva and we're going to be reviewing portfolios in different versions. So PDFs, websites, Canva, and so on, just so we can see uh, how they display and just so I can share some, uh, some of my comments when it comes to these platforms. So I like Canva, it's like a it's like your own website and then you can scroll through that. Here we have a CV in the beginning of the portfolio. I really like this. Now different companies, they might ask you to send the CV and the portfolio separately. Usually these are two different documents. I don't think it's an issue to have your CV in the beginning of your portfolio as well. Just make sure it's not too long in the actual portfolio page. So here we have some experiences. I think experience is, should be in front of education just because it's more important. So I like to go through kind of throughout the hierarchy of importance to the employer. Experience is definitely first, so I like that. Uh, here we have the software and skills. I like this. I would like to see some information on how proficient you are in each of these. I'm guessing that uh, you're not as good in AutoCAD as you are in Lumion and so on. So just some indication of the level of proficiency would be really nice. However, everything else, yeah, looks really good. So then we have content, which looks fairly well. Uh, it's unified. I like that. Here, it might be a bit too much with this background and perhaps this program diagram. It should be a bit uh, smaller or not so pronounced. So perhaps that, but overall, yeah, I like it. Uh, so when it comes to text, I prefer to see only like a, a sentence or two. So not too much. I don't think it's really that important to show off the entire project. You're just kind of showing off what you've worked on and just kind of the level of your skills. So here, yeah, I like this. So we have the, the concept that's always nice to show. So here we have the houses. I think this is perhaps not that necessary. Uh, I think it's much better to show one uh, one view and then just make it large or a couple of views. Uh, this might be just a bit too much. It's, it's small. I don't really see anything. So I would perhaps remove this entire part of the of this page. Here we have the site plan. Again, I, I think we have a bit too much on the screen. So perhaps I would focus just on this part. Uh, these are okay. Again, I don't really see that much more here than I do here. So I would perhaps just have this enlarged and then you can just have text to just kind of show, just mentioning what is what. And yeah, that would be nice. Okay, so here we have some nice perspectives. Yeah, here we have, I feel like this is a little bit repetitive. So you don't really have to put too many different views, 3D views, perspectives for your projects. I think one or two is more than enough. Perhaps a floor plan, uh, it, it really speaks to what the project is all about and what you've learned there. Uh, this just seems just a little bit repetitive. Okay, moving forward. Okay, this one is really cool. I, I really like this one. Again, I would just use less. So just a couple of renderings would be more than enough. Okay, so I, I really like this project here. I would just like to add uh, a few comments for this diagram. So I used to make diagrams like this before. Uh, what you've learned when it comes to diagrams, you're really showing your thought process through the diagram. So in this case, instead of perhaps going like this, it's basically an outline, then an extrusion, then just a bit more detail, and then the final one. I don't like this approach. So here we can see that these kind of cylinders, they're basically vertical communication. So this is stairs. So what I would do here, I would start off with lines on the ground like this in 2D, 
but start off with the entire site and then you can say okay so we've cut this off so we can have a garden in the back and then we've cut the front part so we can have a public space in the front and then we're left with this as a building then you turn that into 3d and then you add and kind of emphasize the two cylinders saying this is vertical communication and then we have the final one. So I think that would be just a little bit more uh, intuitive. It would speak a bit more towards the project. This is kind of basic geometry at this point. So uh, I would just do it a bit differently. But overall, yeah, I like it. Again, just I would focus on less views. These are, I think these are hand-drawn. So perhaps I would emphasize these. That's really rare to see. Okay, and then we have photography, so this is really nice. So when it comes to things like this, like in this case, photography, this is something that they would only include if it's relevant to the job in question. So uh, I wouldn't add photography if I'm just going to be like a BIM manager or if the position doesn't uh, require photography and it isn't compatible in any way, I just wouldn't include it. Moving forward, this is the second portfolio. This is actually on LinkedIn. I didn't know you could host portfolios like this on LinkedIn. See, it's like pages, so I like this. So as you can see, I don't know much about LinkedIn. That's why I don't have many followers on LinkedIn. So please follow me on LinkedIn. That would be really nice. Okay, so let's take a look at this portfolio. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Okay, so here we have, again, this is like a, uh, just a CV, so I like this. So I've mentioned uh, in the previous one when it comes to skills, so this is what I like to see, just kind of a gauge of how proficient you are in these, that's really good. Something else that I've seen here that I really like is here when it comes to kind of professional works, uh, I've noticed that it was really mentioned what was what exactly was done. So here we can see kitchen and bathroom renovation, here we can see uh, concept design, uh, office design, construction area, control so on. So basically specifying what your uh, job was on the actual project is really important. Uh, in a lot of cases, uh, I see uh, it's just a project and you did it with like five other people. I need to know what was your job. Like, did you make the coffee or did you do the entire project and the, and the rest of the people just printed it? So uh, it's really important to specify what was your kind of area of expertise, what you were working on, and perhaps even just show that. Just have one image of the entire project and then just show what you actually did for that project as part of that team. So here we have uh, some projects. So I like that it was specified which software was used, especially uh, here at Balkan Architect, we're all about Revit. So I want to know where you've used Revit. Uh, but yeah, overall, I, I like this. Uh, again, here, I think uh, I would use perhaps larger images and just a single large image for each of these uh, here as well. Now, something that they've noticed here is this portfolio resembles, uh, the, you know, those panels, architecture presentation panels that students do. I see a lot of that here, and that's great as part of your like studio project. But as part of a portfolio, you don't want to have an entire panel there. You just want to emphasize a few. So, for example, in this case, I would definitely go with this uh, beautiful 3D section, and I wouldn't really show anything else. I think it speaks enough to your kind of credentials and just what you can do. And then we can, yeah, it's, I think it's the same kind of type of comment for the rest of these. I really like this project. Looks really cool. But overall, yeah, just try to make it less panels and more emphasizing like what the main thing is. Here, it's the same thing. Uh, uh, if you're trying to show how good or how detailed the project is, like over here, I would just emphasize one small detail. I would have a rendering and then a detail just proving how far you took this project. And I wouldn't show the rest of these because it's repetitive. As an employer, when you're going through uh, different portfolios, you really don't want to see too much repetitiveness just because you get bored because you have to review so many. And uh, yeah, so just avoid that try to go with a wow factor and less is definitely more. Okay, and yeah, we have this interesting drone project as the end, so yeah, really good. Moving forward, we have an actual website. So for this portfolio, we have a website, which is cool. Uh, I like when people send me like a link to their website, just because it shows that you're interested in different things, you're tech savvy, you can do stuff like this. So anyways, let's go here to projects and let's review this. So here we have some AutoCAD projects. 
uh, again, I would just show perhaps some details uh, or something like that. I wouldn't show kind of each individual view. I think it's just a bit too much. But yeah, overall interesting projects here. We have some Revit projects here. I would show more detail. So when it comes to Revit, we like to kind of show the renderings. I, I think it's really fun. We like to show the 3D, but I like to see uh, how proficient you are in actually creating kind of uh, building drawings uh, and so on. So uh, I think it's lacking in that department, but overall, yeah, it's really nice to see like a website like this with a contact page and so on. Really good. And for the final one, we have this portfolio as a PDF. Now, don't be discouraged. I think PDFs are perfectly fine. You can print them out. I think that's really good. Uh, however, just try not to make them too large in terms of file size, just because it's going to make things uh, a bit more complicated. So I like the kind of beginning page here looks really nice, uh, elegant. So here we have some projects. Uh, and yeah, so this is what that looks like. So here we have this shades of infinity project. Yeah, I really like these 3d views, I think it would be enough just to lead with one of these like this one. And then I wouldn't show the, the, the rest of these. And then here we have some this is site plan floor plans. So here, I would try to go more into either artistic or technical. This is kind of in between where it's really uh, not the best of both worlds. So what I would do here is I would focus more either into creating like an artistic uh, ground level uh, floor plan or something like that, where you can actually figure out what's going on with this project. So you can kind of figure things out. Or I would go super technical, and then I would show the kind of the little details and uh, everything that you've kind of had to figure out for this project. So in terms of that, I would show that. So I would go with just one big 3D and then one either technical or artistic drawing, like super technical or super artistic. I wouldn't go with this, for example. Again, elevations, you don't really need them with those nice 3D views. Okay, so here we have this private apartment. Yeah, looks really nice. Again, here, it's it's technical, but it's not too technical. And it's really difficult to kind of figure out what's going on with all of the dimensions and everything. So again, I would go either artistic or either super technical, and then just keep the definitely keep the nice 3d views. I really like this one. This this looks really cool. Moving forward, let's go down. So here I have this villa. Yeah, looks cool. Okay, so this is going more in the artistic, I wouldn't include the dimensions, I don't think it's necessary. So yeah, just make it a bit more artistic. And yeah, I think it would be nice. I don't think we need elevations. Uh, the, the 3d view is more than enough here. Okay, I like these. Again, this looks really good. So if you're showing off your kind of rendering capabilities, this is wow. However, if you're just showing the project and the rendering isn't like your main selling point, this doesn't speak too much uh, towards the project. But if you are showing off your rendering skills, this is perfect. Yeah. So again, we have uh, these renderings. Again, they look nice. Uh, I would just go with less is more on this one. Now, I really like this part where we have these shop drawings. I think again, we have a bit too many of them. But I would use like a 3D one like axonometry view like this, and then like a detail view like this, and then those two would work together perfectly. Uh, but overall, it's really important to show that you actually know this part of the building design, just because a lot of architecture students can make something that looks nice without actually knowing uh, how the building is supposed to be built. So this is really good. Then here we have this interesting project. Yeah, this this looks nice. So here we have some details. Yeah, that, that looks good. Again, perhaps uh, a few too many views, but overall, yeah, I like it. So here, okay, yeah, looks good. Uh, then we have these houses. Okay, I really like this one. And I would feel confident with removing this entire page like this is enough again with some kind of artistic site plan, floor plan. Yeah, I think it would be more than enough. We have contact information at the bottom. So overall looks 
really, really nice. So anyways, thank you for sharing these portfolios with me. Uh, please tell me in the comment section below what do you think about these uh, and what do you think about my comments? Do you agree with me or do you have some suggestions how you would go in uh, perhaps a, a different direction when it comes to uh, judging these? I guess I'm not judging them, but just using them as a reference to say what I looked for as an employer when it comes to reviewing uh, architectural portfolios, especially looking for Revit users. Thank you for watching. And of course, if you're interested in Revit courses and Revit content, go to BalkanArchitect.com. The link will be up in the cards above and then also down in the description of this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in a couple of days. Have a nice day.